Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So winter has already started and nights have gone long while the skies are dark and blue. So this is the best time for astrophotography. If I talk about smartphone astrophotography then there is a lot that you can capture by just using a smartphone during this time period. You can capture the Orion Nebula, the Orion Belt, Pleiades Star Cluster, Taurus Constellation, Cassiopeia Constellation, Andromeda Galaxy and many more things. But in this video, I am going to talk about Andromeda Galaxy that how we can capture the Andromeda Galaxy by just using our smartphone. In this video, I am going to share all the details and steps that are essential to capture a good image of Andromeda Galaxy by just using our smartphone. So I request to watch the whole video and don't skip it up to end so that all your doubt will get cleared up. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's begin that. But before that, if you are new to the channel then kindly subscribe the channel and if you find this video helpful and like it then please like and share it okay let's begin then so friends the first important step towards capturing the andromeda galaxy is that finding or locating the andromeda galaxy in the night sky by using our phone for this task, we have to use the star gazing applications and I have made a complete video on how to spot or locate the Andromeda galaxy by using star gazing application with our phone in the night sky on this channel and I have uploaded that video recently and the link to that video is in the description as well as in the i button over here. So I am sure that after watching that video you will be able to locate or spot the Andromeda galaxy accurately in the night sky with our phone. So I must suggest that you watch that video so that you will get clear about spotting or locating the Andromeda galaxy in the night sky by using star gazing applications in our phone. Okay. So the second point is regarding the border scale or light pollution. We need to know the border scale of our location because depending upon that we have to arrange our phone settings and accordingly the quality of the image of Andromeda galaxy will get changed and at last we will be able to capture a good image of the Andromeda galaxy once we have known the water scale and arrange the phone settings ok. So I have made a complete video about finding the water scale of our location or how we can find out the water scale of our any location ok. For that you have to refer to the description I have given the link to watch that video in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it. So I am sure that after watching that video you will be able to find the border scale of your location or you will be able to locate a dark site around your surrounding for astrophotography. Okay, so you must watch that video. So once we have known the border scale of our location, we need to proceed ahead with the settings of our phone's camera. Okay, because depending on the border scale, we need to arrange the phone settings so that we can get a good image of the Andromeda galaxy. I have captured the Andromeda galaxy under bottle 3 skies as well as under bottle 5 skies. So here I am sharing the settings of bottle 3 skies as well as under bottle 5 skies directly so that you will be able to capture a good image of the Andromeda galaxy. But remember one thing that these settings are in a particular range. For example, if you are under bottle 3 skies then you have to keep the shutter speed in the range of 20 seconds to 25 seconds and you can keep the ISO in the range of 1600 to 3200. See, this is not like that you have to use the 20 second shutter speed or 25 second. You can change in between depending upon the sky condition. Sometimes clouds may be there, sometimes clouds may not be there. So you have to change the settings. Also the ISO should not be set fixed. For example, if you have set the ISO to be 1600, then it is not needed that you, every time you have to keep it at 1600. If the sky is very clear, then you can increase the ISO to get a good image because I have done that by using my phone which is POCO X3 ok. So these are the settings for bottle 3 sky. If you are under bottle 5 skies then you have to keep the shutter speed in this rate. For example starting from 8 seconds to 15 seconds depending on the sky conditions and the ISO should be in the range of 800 to 1600 ok. Or sometimes you may need to set the ISO from 600 to uh, 1600 also in this rate. See this is a trial and error method. I, earlier I said that it is not that we have to fix the settings and you have to use all the settings again and again. Depending upon the sky conditions, I am again telling that depending upon the sky conditions, you have to change the settings. I mean you have to change the uh, range of the settings. Okay. So depending upon that, you will be able to get a good image. Now the point is that whether I can capture the Andromeda galaxy beyond bottle 5 or not. Yes, you can capture 
but you have to decrease the settings for example as i said that bottle 5 the second should be uh, the shutter speed should be in the range of 8 seconds to 15 seconds then if you go to bottle 6 or bottle 7 sky then we have to decrease from uh, 8 seconds to let's say 6 seconds or 7 seconds or something okay and if you have to decrease the iso also because as you move away from bottle 1 skies towards the bottle 9 skies the light pollution is increased so once you can imagine that if you are under bottle 5 sky then you have to use these settings so beyond that we have to decrease the settings okay so this was about the settings which we have to use under different bottle scale conditions so once we have known the location of andromeda galaxy and the bottle scale of our location and the settings that which we need to use under different bottle scale conditions we need to see some of the features that are essential for good astrophotography or to capture a better image of milky way or andromeda galaxy or any other celestial object in the night sky for that i have made a detailed video one year back that is which phones are good for astrophotography and which features are good for astrophotography the link to that video is given in the description as well as in the i button over here so after watching that you will be able to know that yes these phones are in my phone and hence i will be able to get a good image of the andromeda galaxy so let's proceed ahead with the final task that is capturing the andromeda galaxy but before that i want to share some of the images that are captured by my friends by using different phones under different bottle scale conditions so that you will get a clear idea that it is not like that only one phone is good for astrophotography there are many other phones and by using different uh, settings under different bottle scale conditions we can get a good image of the andromeda galaxy so here are those images i have also mentioned their instagram ids if you wish then you can follow them on instagram id so these are those images So after knowing all these steps let's see finally that how to capture the andromeda galaxy for that first i'm sharing some of the tips that is if you are under bottle five skies then you need to be careful regarding the street lights advertising hoardings and other things that are creating hindrance in our sky view when we are capturing the andromeda galaxy so i suggest that you must go to the terrace of your house or terrace of your building in order to avoid these things and find a clear spot so that you can get a good image so this is about bottle 5 if you are under bottle 3 then you must keep an eye on the fog because after sunset and before sunrise there is fog in the sky for few minutes okay so you need to avoid shooting in that uh, uh, time duration and you have to wait until the fog is over so this is about the bottle skill conditions second thing is the features of the phone okay see raw mode is very important because it is, will give the bone data as compared to the jpg image if your phone has raw mode then i suggest that you must shoot or you must capture the images in the raw format only and avoid shooting in the jpg images so that you will get a better output okay now uh, one thing i want to make this clear that for example if you are capturing that number galaxy for the first time then your image will not be same as the stacked image because stacking is is different and the stacked output is different as compared to the uh, single exposure image okay stacked output is the result of multiple images that are stacked by using the software first stacking of andromeda galaxy image i will make a different video that how to stack the andromeda galaxy image using the software okay but at present you just concern about capturing the andromeda galaxy by using phone so at present if you don't have the raw mode feature then you can just use the jp is a feature only to capture the uh, andromeda galaxy because you don't have any other choice so this is regarding the features that you need to use and uh, one more thing that if you have a tripod then i suggest that you must use the tripod only so that your phone will be stable when you are capturing the andromeda galaxy and you must not use the digital zoom see sometimes what happens that i have seen some of the images that uh, some people use the digital zoom uh, for capturing the andromeda galaxy see that will not be good because it will decrease the quality of the image okay you need to uh, keep the uh, zoom as it is you need you don't need to zoom in okay for capturing the andromeda galaxy you have to use uh, the i mean the phone's camera in the 1x mode only don't zoom in so uh, you have to use in the 1x mode and uh, you have to use the tripod if tripod is not there then you can uh, use any stone or a brick or something that make uh, that i mean 
that can hold your phone steady for some time when you are capturing the Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, so this was about the tips that I wanted to share. And now I'm sharing the screen recording of my phone that I have saved in the month of October when I was under bottle 3 skies. That is, I was at my village and I captured the Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, so here is the screen recording. You can see in the screen recording that I am using the same settings that I mentioned earlier in the video that you have to use when you are under the bottle 3 skies. I am keeping the shutter speed to be 25 seconds and ISO to be 3200. Okay, so this is the screen recording. So after watching the screen recording and knowing all the steps that I mentioned earlier in the video, I hope that you are now clear regarding capturing the Andromeda Galaxy by using smartphone. So if you find this video helpful to you, then please like and share it and subscribe to the channel for more updates on smartphone astrophotography and astronomy. Okay? For stacking of the Andromeda Galaxy images, I will make a different video and I will upload it. Till then, stay tuned and thank you for watching this video. Wish you all clear skies.